welcome into the Stevenson Athletics Plays of the Month. These are featuring plays from the month of October. Full 31 days. And they were full of action. Let's get it rolling. In no particular order. Let's start with some women's soccer, because this had to be one of the most exciting games of the month. Freshman Juliana Portera, left footed, falling over. She couldn't have placed that any better. Mustangs would go on for a 3-2 victory over 6th ranked Arcadia. 6th ranked. Arcadia had come in with a 15 game winning streak. They hadn't lost until this game. Alexis Sejak passes it over. Portero is their second goal of the season. And what a goal it was. And I love that reaction from the players on the field and I'm sure the reaction on the bench was equally stoked. Let's keep it talking about some reaction times. Kelsey Stave gets blocked, but she's got her elbow there, and she's going to keep that point alive. Stevenson would eventually win the point and the match over conference opponent Albright. What to body keep... part has the women's volleyball team used to keep the ball alive this year? We've seen a foot, we've seen an elbow, we've seen plenty of pancakes when they dive out and put their hand down. Yeah, whatever that means. Isn't that a football term? A pancake? Yeah. You just really want to talk about football. I must. Let's go. Football, Widener. They were leading 31-14 already, but here comes Austin, Tennessee with six more points. He runs it all the way to the house. 60 yards for his second pick six of the season. Widener gets the ball back. The very next play. Another pick six. This time it's Mike Datu. He runs it 28 yards for the score. Back-to-back -back pick sixes. Mustangs improved to 6-0 in the year after this win at Widener. We're going back-to-back. -back. And keeping it with back-to-back -back football plays. A punt return for 66 yards for a touchdown. That's the first in program history by Preston Addo. He's going to find that huge hole. Great blocking downfield, and then as soon as he gets in that open field, he's just gone. He's going to bring it into that box for the six points. All right, field hockey, here we go. Rosemary Neva, conference game over the hood. Joe, she doesn't score just once. She doesn't score just twice. She even doesn't score just three times. Four goals in this game, Joe, four. It's an awfully impressive performance by one individual, but it was also a great performance by the team in this game as well. Yeah, 7-0 win over Hood. Neva scored the first four goals of the game. She became just the seventh player in program history to score at least four goals in a game. Just one player, Dawn McFarland. She's in our Hall of Fame. She scored five before. But you know what? Neva led the team this year, this season, with 11 goals. It's an impressive performance and a heck of a resume to, to hand in at the end of your season. Talk some more football because I can't get enough of these boys in this O-line just making a huge hole for Dante Ayers to run through. He's only going to need one play from scrimmage to end this drive with six points. Takes him 12 seconds to run all the way to the house. He would end the day with nine touches and 123 yards. Here's 70 of them for you right there. Offensive line, great blocking, makes a man miss takes it to the house, and guess what? Shut out. A shout out for the shut out? Shut out. <laughs> Whatever I just said. <laughs> just shut out. <laughs> Nothing. First shut out of the season. They might have gotten another one, but I guess we'll see that in a minute. Let's get to the other type of football. We're talking men's soccer here now. Senior goalkeeper Mike Tringali in the opening minutes of the, against Hood. Huge save right there. He's been huge in net for him all season. Yeah, later in the month against Messiah, he would record his 100th save of the season. He's just the fifth player to do that in program history, and the first since 2009. And this, the Mustangs fell in this game to Hood, but this was huge because, like you said, it was in the opening minutes. This would have put Hood up early. But Tringali, what a beast on the back line he was this year. Let's keep it with soccer. Back to women's soccer. Julia Webb Jr., 32 yards out and in. Look at that, right off the crossbar over the goalie. The junior's first career goal. This was a 4 0 win over Alvernia. Mustang scored three times in the last 10 minutes to hold on for the win. And what a beauty this was. Great vision. Takes a step on the defender. Sees some space. 
Why, why not? Just let it rip. Every October, Stevenson hosts their homecoming, and this year's homecoming football game was awfully historic. Early in the game, Delaware Valley going for it on fourth and one at midfield. Let's take the call from Sid Wagbaum and Glenn Clark. In this monstrous game, both coaches showing some gusto here. Third year head coach Duke Greco. What a and play. Is, Ellis is stopped in the backfield for a loss. Isaiah Pitts. As Pitts busted through the right side of the formation, a loss of three on the play, and the Mustangs will take over for the second straight time. I mean, untouched Isaiah Pitts. Just absolutely a walk right through the line and into the backfield to make the play. Mustangs handed Delaware Valley its first shutout since 2002 with a 19-0 victory that day. It was the second shutout of the season and fourth in program history. Pitts would end the game with eight tackles, including two for a loss, while also recovering a fumble. Let's keep it rolling to the ice we go. Rookie here, Jordan Perillo, not to be confused with women's soccer senior Jordan Pareto, but Perillo here gets her first career goal, gets a pass from Monica Pozik, wrists her over the shoulder, the stick side, top shelf. And let's keep it on the ice with men's ice hockey taking on Morrisville State in their first ever game. And here's their first ever goal. Let's check out the Selly from the bench too. The whole bench getting involved. Even Brett Adams on the lower right part of your screen. You get the slight stoked. fist pump from fist pump from head coach Dominic Dawes and then back to business. The Swede right here, number 12, Alfred Poneling Borg. I think I got it right. He had to tell me about 12 times, but he gets the first goal in program history. Yeah, I'm never going to get that name. Never going to get it. It's all right. He doesn't care as long as they keep putting the puck in the net and winning some games. And they sure did. They put 12 goals in the net that weekend yeah. to Morrisville's three. Yeah, 7-1 to one and 5-2. to two. Incredible. Let's get to the shout-outs. Let's start with some tennis. Both the men's and the women's tennis teams, their number one doubles duo, advance to the MAC Individual Championships right here on the men's side. You have senior Brian Gesselman and junior Warden Lai. They advance to the championship game. And on the women's side, the freshman duo, the rookies, Jenna Scove and Kelsey Menser, they advance to the championship game as well. And Joe, it was the first time that either program has had a duo, the doubles duo, compete in a doubles championship. So congratulations to them. Absolutely. And let's get another congratulations to the women's swimming team in the action in the pool. Their 200-yard relay, freestyle relay team of Juliana Burnett, Isabel Ramsland, Julia Sharon, and Natalie Wasico finished to, with a time of 149.09 to break the school record, they would also break the school record again. Yeah, I think they, they probably swim better than you pronounce their names, but congratulations to them because they keep breaking records, school records and personal records. And I'm still going to keep pronouncing names wrong. We'll do another congratulations this time to the women's volleyball team knocking off 13th ranked Eastern to start the month of October in Joe. This women's volleyball team, they don't like Eastern. They don't, and they rise to the occasion and get the, the job done and a uh, huge shout out and congratulations to them for that. Yeah, I talked to Kristen Brooks prior to this game and after this game, she wanted this one bad and what a way to start off October. They want a perfect 11-0 in the month. I'm so happy you brought up Kristen Brooks because she is our next shout out with her 1,000th career kill. The second Mustang women's volleyball player to do it uh, this season. Big night for her to do it too. Come from behind win over Lebanon Valley. They were down two to one on the road. Get the win in five sets, because you know what? They've never lost in the MAC. And this is what, their fifth straight year in the MAC. Haven't lost in the regular season. Haven't lost in post in the conference tournament. And this win right here on this night helped them secure the top seed in the playoffs. Am I doing these or are you just going to take I just wasn't sure if you were going to get to all that and you know it's a shout out so we want to make sure we're congratulating them. Do you want to take mine here? Way to, way to go Kristen. No, no you got it. You got it. All right so cross country let's give a shout out to them. The men's team finished fifth at the MAC championships. It's their highest ever finish since joining the league in 2012 and a special congratulations to Langston Gash. He finished sixth individually and it was the highest individual performance at the MAC championships for their program. So congratulations to Langston and the team. 
We told you it was an action-packed 31 days and it was no different for a junior golfer. Morgan Wirtz earns the Mac Golfer of the Week accolade three times in the month of October, twice in the month of October, three top, fin top 10 finishes in that month, and also earns the accolade of Co-Golfer of the Month by the ECAC. Yeah, she's having a historic fall. Like you said, five Golfer of the Weeks in the, in the fall. I think her worst finish in probably eight tournaments is 16th. She's won a few, finished second, so congratulations to her. And she won the Hood College Invitational as well and finished second at the Eastern Invitational. Uh, just a heck of a fall for her and the women's golf team in general and also the men's golf team. Yeah, I mean, what an action-packed October. I can't wait to see what November brings us, Joe. 30 days, right? 30 days. Also, Thanksgiving. Probably my favorite day. Yeah. Besides my birthday. I'm not sure we have any action right on Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving weekend. We do. I can't wait. Ice hockey. Some basketball. Basketball? Basketball tips Ice. off. See, I don't know because I don't look at calendars. But, but you know what's more, even more exciting? Postseason. Postseason. Can't wait for those plays, Joe. We're going to, yeah. Yeah. Time to wrap it up. That's the Stevenson Athletics Plays of the Month of October. Like Sam said, there's 31 days in it. Don't forget it. And also, don't forget, Sam, tell them what they need to know. If you want any information on anything Stevenson University Athletics, visit our website at GoMustangSports.com. Follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. We're everywhere. Hashtag Sing Nation.